All right, folks. So my buddy, uh, I was talking to him about his Nano VNA, and he told me that the battery in his, and you can see ours right here, had puffed up, and uh, he was going to have to replace it. This is the first VNA I bought, and it's really small, so I don't ever really use it. Um, the battery does hold a charge, and it does work. But uh, I did take this thing apart. We're going to do that again real quick, take a look at it, and uh, see if my battery is suffering the same puffy fate. All right, so here's the inside of the Nano VNA. And uh, you can see, let's see if we can get it up here closer to the, to the zoom level, but this, this battery is puffed out. You can see it right here. And when I push it, it, uh, it doesn't feel hard. It feels soft, like something's going on with it there. So what I did is I ordered another battery, replacement battery. And uh, this looks like it's a simple enough job. If you take a look on there, you can see where the two wires attach. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut these wires. And when I do that, what I want to do is I want to cut them individually. I don't want to cut them at the same time because I don't want them to short out. And uh, let's just cut these a little bit different lengths so the ends don't um, don't touch or connect or anything like that. And I've got to remove this, this battery. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that, but I want to be careful that when I do this, I don't puncture or do anything to it. And it looks like it's in a little bit of a battery tray here. It's probably glued in or something, but uh, let me see if I can figure out how I'm gonna get this out and I'll come back and show you how we're gonna do it. All right, so I have this pry bar tool that, uh, that we're gonna use, it's called a spudger. And uh, I'm just gonna get in here and see if we can just pop this thing off. It's probably glued into place. What I don't wanna do is I don't, like I said, it looks like it's in a tray here, but, um, oh, no, no, that's, that looks like that's part of the battery. That's not a tray. So hopefully this thing just comes right off, but of course it's not going to be that easy. And I want to make sure that I'm, I know you guys want to see this thing and let the smoke out, but I don't want to see it let the smoke out. And here's the back of it. It looks like it's uh, got some sticky stuff on here, but uh, this thing is really puffed out. I don't want to mess with this thing too much because I don't, like I said, I don't want to let the smoke out. Now here is the replacement battery. And then you can see those two, those two terminals there. Uh, and let me see if they're marked. I can't, uh, I can't see that with these old eyes, so. So here on the right-hand side, hopefully you can see it, there is a little positive sign. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get out the soldering iron and we need to heat these babies up and get these off of here. So let me get, this, let me get the iron set up and we'll be right back. All right, so what I have here is some, uh, some janky tape that I put on there. And then uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this battery and I really would like to put it upside down like this because the cable's already running that direction. But if I do that, then I can't see the, the battery type and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down. And uh, that should hold it relatively in place. <clears throat> and so then I just need to bring these up and they need to be soldered into the correct spots. Now what I don't want to do is I don't want to short anything out. So I'm going to do these wires one at a time. And uh, I guess we're just going to go with the positive one first. So let me just go ahead and cut that. And then what I need to do is I need to strip just the end of this so that uh, that I can tack it down. So we're just going to use these strippers here. Well, this is some teeny, teeny wire. And there we go. All right, hopefully everybody can see that okay. And what I do is I have this stripped wire down onto that solder pad. And hopefully that's all it's gonna take. Nope.
<clears throat> all right so we tin the end of this wire and then what I want to do is I want to get it right down onto that pad all right looks like we got one down all right now I'm going to collect I'm going to cut the other side and strip that I'll be right back All right, like the positive lead, what we've done is we've trimmed, we stripped, and then we have, um, oh, I don't want to do that. We trimmed, stripped, and then what we did is we t we tinned the end of that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this on over here, and it should just take a quick second. And there we go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cable for this, and we're going to try to see if it charges. All right, so this is probably our best opportunity for the smoke show. So let me go ahead and plug this in. And it looks like it's charging up. Hopefully the battery doesn't puff up, and uh, the device came on. So we're good there. I'm going to unplug this, and then uh, I'm going to turn it off. And it looks like this will go out after a couple of seconds, but it looks like we can power just fine off the battery. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the the protective case back on. Okay, we are uh, back together, fully assembled. And uh, I'm actually a little surprised at how easy this was of a, of a project. Um, it still works after putting it back together, so we're happy there. Uh, we can go ahead and we can plug this in and I can hear it connecting to the computer and it appears to be charging. So we're just going to call that a success. Now, one of the things uh, before we end the video, I wanted to show this is the inside of my Nano VNA H4, and I was afraid that this battery might have suffered the same fate, but it hasn't. This battery here is looking uh, looking pretty good, and I'm not worried about it yet. To replace this one, it looks like you can get it with a plug, and that would make it a lot easier. But um, I probably shouldn't be handling this like that. I'm probably going to damage it in some way. But uh, anyhow, it's a nice, easy fix. Uh, I'll have links for everything below, and uh, you can check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody.